A's and the Indians continuing their series in Cleveland. Travis Blackley on the mound for Oakland. Bottom of the first, it's a 3-2 pitch to Estrubal Cabrera, and the pitch appears to be low, but it's a called strike three by home plate umpire Gary Darling. Cabrera adamantly disagrees, and well, he's going to get tossed. So we go to the bottom of the third. Jason Donald at the plate for the Tribe, and Donald taking this one the opposite way. And gone for the solo homer, Donald second of the year, and it snaps the A's pitching staff's 24 in scoreless streak. Indians added another in the frame to make it 2-0. Top four, Corey Kluber on the mound for the Tribe, facing Josh Donaldson with runners on second and third, two away. 3-2 pitch, and that one's hit to left field. Going back is Carrera, and that baby is gone. 3-2 A's. But the A's offense just getting started. Top seven now 4-2 with a runner on second, two out. Seth Smith at the plate. He had struck out in his first three at-bats, looking to atone for that in this one. And he rips one left center field, and that'll get down for a hit. Coco Crisp will score easily. Seth Smith digging for two. He's in there with an RBI double, and it's 5-2, the A's lead. The next batter is Chris Carter, and Carter lining this one sharply in a left for the base hit that will drive home Smith. Oakland up 6-2, bottom of the eighth. Now 6-4, Indians trying to keep the comeback going with a runner on third, two out. Jason Donald at the plate against Ryan Cook, and Donald grounds out to second. That will end the frame. A's would add two more in the top of the ninth to make it 8-4, and they go on to win by that final. Oakland has won five in a row, 11 of their last 13, and have a major league best 50-27 and 27 mark since June 2nd. Indians have dropped 13 of their last 14, and Yoenis Cespedes and Josh Reddick both finished 3-5 for five with an RBI.